Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm bringing you this very dramatic look, I know. <laughs> I went with a dark, grungy, smoky eye for a change, paired with this bold, orangey lip. It is all over my teeth. <laughs> I've been searching for this shade for so long and I finally got my hands on it, it's so affordable. If you want to see how I got this look and what products I use, just keep on watching. So for the majority of this look today I'm going to be taking my Jaclyn Hill palette, this is by Morphe. It's got the perfect black shade for a smoky eye and it also has some of these warm shades as well. So for this look, I'm going to be taking this shade here as my transition. I'm going to be taking this shade here, which is like this lovely terracotta shade, just to sort of blend out that smoky eye. So as you can see, it's very dramatic at the moment with nothing else on my face. It does look like I've got a black eye, but, but you will see everything come together in a bit. It's probably one of the only palettes I have with a black shade that doesn't have a lot of fallout, which is perfect for this look. Unfortunately, this palette doesn't come with a mirror. Just pick it up one of my other palettes for this. So I'm just blending that lighter shade straight into the crease. Not being too precise because we are going to be going over the majority of the eye with a black shade. And then picking up that terracotta shade, this is my Real Techniques 201 brush. Um, and I'm popping that shade in the crease as well, but bringing it around the entire lid. Also pulling that in to the inner corner. So you've pretty much made a half circle around the entire lid, which looks like that. And you just want to keep working the shade in until you're happy with the amount of pigment that you have. And then before going in with the black shade over the lid, make sure you use a creamy base product on the lid first um, to make sure the black shadow has something to stick to otherwise the shade can tend to transfer up into your crease which is not what we want. You can use any black cream base that you've got for this or if you don't have a black cream base what you could do is use a coal liner which is what I'm going to be using today. So this is the Models Own Coal Black Eye Definer. I'm literally just popping that on the lid. I swear this doesn't just hold it in place but it makes it look extra black as well which is what you want with a smoky eye. I'm just picking up a little blending brush and I'm going to start working that into the entire lid. So just small circular motions to begin with. And then we're going to go in with the black shade from the palette. So just picking up that shade, tapping off the excess, and I'm first going to pat that black shade all over the lid, on top of that cream product. Once you've patted that in place, just start blending it out ever so slowly. And I'm going to start blending out the edges with that shade. Once it's looking all smoked out like that, I'm going to go back in with the terracotta shade. I'm going to start pulling that out on the outer V. And then I'm also going to start pulling out that black shade because we are going to do a bit of a wing. To create my wing, I'm just going to go back in with the Model Zone eyeliner. You don't have to do a wing with a smoky eye because there's enough going on as there is. I wanted to really elongate the eyes today and because it's so dramatic I feel like it'll look a lot better with the type of lashes that I'm using today. Then picking up a makeup wipe. By the way guys these makeup wipes are biodegradable which is amazing. For lashes I'm taking the Baby Doll 747 lashes. These are the ones I've been using a lot recently. I just love how dramatic they are for this type of look. Also, if you've been watching some of my recent videos, you would have heard me mention I'm allergic to eyelash glue now. 
I'm allergic to the duo glue um, and I also bought the green version of this which was latex free. Turns out I was allergic to that as well. So I was looking at some reviews online and I seen a lot of people mention the orange duo glue which isn't just latex free but it's also hypoallergenic. It's also formaldehyde free which could be the thing that I'm allergic to. So we're going to give this a go and see how we get on. Brush on strip lash adhesive in black. So it looks like this. I'm just going to apply some mascara. So I've had the glue on this side for about 20 minutes now. I'm not getting any irritation, which is good. Okay, so let's move on to skin, guys. For primer, I'm going to take the Ordinary High Adherence Silicone Primer. This is my absolute favourite primer at the moment. I'm applying this all over my face. For foundation today I'm going to take my Urban Decay Stay Naked foundation. This is in the shade 60WY. I've got a feeling this is going to be a little bit too dark for me at the moment. I have fake tanned but I've used a medium tan shade as opposed to the deep tan that I usually use. Um, but we're going to give it a go. And I'm blending that out with my Olivia Hale Beauty Blender. Mm. It is slightly the wrong shade for me at the moment. I'm going to take the CoverGirl Stay Fabulous Foundation in the shade 857. Oh, that's better. Just taking a little bit of this to hopefully blend the two together. I actually really like this colour combo, guys. I think I'm going to go with the NYX HD concealer for a change. Haven't used this for the longest time. So I'm just taking this on all the high points of my face. I'm going to take a little bit of the LA Girl as well. Because why not? Then blending that out with the same beauty blender. I really like those concealers mixed together. And once it's all blended out, I'm going to bake today using the Makeup Revolution Bake and Finish Powder. I'm just pressing that in on the forehead, the chin, and underneath the cheekbones. Almost forgot the nose. And whilst that's baking I'm just going to cream contour my cheeks. Being extra careful not to get this anywhere near the um, powder and the jawline and then just blending that out with my Sigma Accentuate highlighter brush if you're going to cream contour whilst baking you want to really make sure none of that baking powder mixes with the cream contour product because it could go really cakey your cream contour could end up looking like a horrible grey shade so just bear that in mind I swear I always go to forget the chin one day I'm gonna end up doing it and I'll be walking around with a big brown mark underneath my jaw <laughs> and then I'm gonna blend away all that powder I'm going to powder contour and highlight using my Makeup Revolution Bronze and Contour Palette. Uh, taking this shade here to highlight and this shade here to contour. So, a little update guys. I was supposed to be snowboarding this week. Um, we booked a snowboarding holiday. 
We were supposed to be leaving last Saturday, but before we went, I actually injured my ankle. We are so, so gutted. It's actually an old injury. I done this about eight years ago whilst dancing. I damaged the ligaments and tendons in my ankle. Um, I can't walk, my crutches are literally by there, and I've been going out of my mind this week, guys. I'm usually so busy with everything, it kills me not being able to dance. I'm now on the waiting list to see a specialist, so fingers crossed, it'll all be sorted this year. I'm gonna take my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. I've been loving this one again recently. I literally bounce back and forth between products. Oh, it smells amazing. So yeah, that's not what we had planned. We we're supposed to be snowboarding this week. Just taking this down my neck as well, guys. So yeah, we did not expect to be sat here at home this week. I suppose it is what it is. We've sort of come to terms with it now. I'm just applying a little bit of Primox Rose to the apples of my cheeks. I'm just trying to keep as positive as possible. On the plus side, I can use my spare time to film some more videos for you guys. To highlight my face, I'm going to take an oldie but a goodie, the Mary Luminizer by The Balm. This used to be my absolute favourite highlighter. I take this on my forehead as well, down my nose. And a little on my chin, why not? I've just completely plastered myself in that. Underneath my eyes, I'm gonna go back in with that terracotta shade. Just smoking that out on the lower lash line. This is probably the most dramatic smoky eye I've ever done. I'm going back in with that black shade, but I'm taking it, but I'm taking it on my eyebrow brush this time. And I'm blending that in just closer to the lash line. Going back in with the Model Zone Co liner and I'm applying that to my waterline. That makes the world a difference, guys. Taking a bit of my Colourpop Flexitarian on my inner corners because we cannot do a dramatic eye look without this stuff. So for lips with a smoky eye, I would usually keep it super natural. For the longest time, I've been looking for the perfect orangey red lip color. And I happened to stumble upon these in Primark the other day and they were so affordable. I think this was literally like £2.50 and this was about 50 pence. I spotted these together. This is the lip liner pencil in the shade Lava. And this is, this is the Powder Luxe lipstick in the shade Scarlet. And oh my god, guys, I absolutely love them. I put them straight in my basket. <laughs> I'm going to use this to outline my lips and I'm going to use this to fill them in. Also, guys, can we, can we just talk about the packaging? It's a magnet. It's an actual magnet. How amazing is that? So let's fill these in. That colour is absolutely amazing. Um, so I'm going to set my face using my Urban Decay All Night uh, Setting Spray. Best setting spray ever and I just love that scent so much. If ever you get like watermarks from your setting spray, just go over with a beauty blender. Pop it on some mascara to my bottom lashes and then we'll be done. So this is the final result guys, I absolutely love how it's turned out. This is probably the most dramatic I've done my makeup in a long, long time. You could totally pair this with a nude lip, but I really, really wanted to try this shade today. I absolutely love it. So go get your hands on it for £2.50 in Primark if you can, guys. This lip colour is perfect for spring and summer coming up as well. Thank you so much for watching as always. Make sure to subscribe below if you haven't already. And until the next video, I'll see you all really soon. Bye guys.